This is a common issue that we quite often get with um, Sign Blazer in that we try to import the files but they're not really coming in right or they aren't just coming in at all. So what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to show you how we work it. What the exact answer is I don't actually know but I will just explain how we briefly do it. So what we've got here is this is on our um, external hard drive which is part of the network. We've got the folders that are there and the one we're trying to open is this one here which is the Halloween 2. So what we do is we copy that over to the local system um, so it's an exact copy and then we go to file import within the sign blazer program and you can see straight away that when you compare it to the other EPS ones you can see that the other EPS ones come up with the preview whereas that one it just comes up with a black square and if we click on it and click OK to do the import and we choose the full postscript interpreter and it goes through with the green bar as it as it just did then and then nothing happens so you click on cutter and nothing happens it's not there so you try again you go to file import choose the file I clicked on it twice then rather than clicking OK and I just click the postscript scanner and again nothing happens let's just double check it. it's not outside of the work area and it's not it's not there at all so um now we're kind of scratching our head so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that as it is right now I'm just going to close that all down and I'm going to take you over to our other system which can also access all of the external hard drive and I'll do exactly the same on that and we will see whether or not that works okay so here we are on a different system um, it's still exact the same program, the same version of Sign Blazer, but we'll go to do the import in exactly the same way as we did. And we we'll click up here first, and we'll use the PostScript scanner. And Bosch, there you go, it worked. Um, it leaves us scratching our heads. We got no idea why it works on one, but it won't work on another one. It's exactly the same file. Everything is exactly the same. So. As we can't understand it, we're not going to wipe the sign blazer off of here. We're always going to keep it on here. Um, and all we do now is we go to File, we do the Save As, and we save it as the sign blazer file. So then it can go back up to the external hard drive and it can then be used on the other system again without any issues at all. As I've already said, why it happens, I don't know we don't know but it's why we keep the sign blazer program installed over two systems if there were any updates to the sign blazer program then I'm pretty sure that would be one of the first things they would do but there isn't going to be any updates to it you just have to work with it and it's just what you have to do hope that helps um, any questions leave a comment down below and I'll do my very utmost to try and answer but if you can install it over two systems try it the other thing I ought to say is that this one here is on Windows 10 the one you saw previously was on Windows 7 um, but Windows 10 came out after the last update for sign blazer cheers for watching